Hi. Good afternoon, all of you. My name is Bhris Srinivasulu, Department of Mechanical Engineering. Okay, today I am going to the fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines, second unit to conduct to flow. Okay, already I can explain the Reynolds number and the Reynolds experiment, Darcy Wisbatch equation, uh, flow of friction factors. H of equal to 4FL V square by 2GD. Derivation is already explained last classes so today i am going to the pipes in series connection and parallel connection and total energy line and hydraulic grade hydraulic energy lines okay okay conduct flow unit number 2 fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines so okay pipes in parallel connection so okay the pipes are said to be in parallel okay as shown in figure the main pipe is divided into the two small pipes or two small pipes are connected to the major pipe. Okay, two pipes are connected in parallel connections. Okay, when a pipe, when a main line divides into two or more parallel pipes, which again join together downstream and continues as a main line. Okay, it may be seen from figure point 12.19 that the rate of discharge in the main line is equal to the pipes. The discharge means the flow of water. Okay, the Q is the discharge. First main line entering into the discharge of water Q. Next, the discharge of water is divided into the Q1 and Q2. Okay, two pipes. One pipe discharge is Q1. Second pipe discharge is Q2. Next, that water is leaving into the, the end of the pipe. Okay, total discharge is Q. Okay, the entering into the pipe is discharge Q. Next, in leaving into the pipe discharge is Q. Okay, in this Q equal to Q1 plus Q2, pipe 1 and pipe 2 also, two small pipes are connected in the parallel connection in one pipe. Okay. In this pipes, diameter D1, length L1 and velocity V1 in pipe 1. Next, D2 is the diameter of the pipe 2, L2 is the length of the pipe 2 and V2 is the velocity of the pipe 2. When the pipes are arranged in parallel, the pipes are arranged in parallel. The loss of head in each pipe is same. The loss of head in each pipe is same. The loss of head in pipe one, the loss of head in pipe two. Okay, the loss of head is equal in two pipes. The loss of head in pipe one and loss of head in pipe two. Okay, therefore, the HF head loss due to the friction or Darcy Wisbatch equation is 4FL V square by 2GD. Okay, this is the equation of Darcy Wisbatch equation or head loss due to the friction. In this section, so two pipes are connected. Pipe 1 and pipe 2. Pipe 1 head loss due to the friction equal to 4 F1 L1 V1 square by D1 2G. That equal to pipe 2. Pipe 2 means 4 F2 L2 V2 square by D2 into 2G. Okay. When F1 equal to F2, there is no friction losses. F1 equal to F2 are constant. Next, the equation is written as L1 V1 square by 2G D1 that equal to L2 V2 square by 2G D2. Okay. 
ओके दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ पाइप्स इन पैरेलल कनेक्शंस l1 v1 स्क्वायर बाय 2g d1 इक्वल टू l2 v2 स्क्वायर बाय 2g d2 नेक्स्ट दिस इज द स्मॉल प्रॉब्लम ऑन पाइप्स इन पैरेलल कनेक्शंस द मेन पाइप डिवाइस इनटू टू पैरेलल पाइप्स व्हिच अगेन फॉर्म्स वन पाइप एज शोन इन फिगर 12.19 The data is follows first two parallel pipe. First parallel pipe length is hundred thousand meters. Diameter is zero point eight meters. Second pipe length is thousand meters. Diameter is zero point six meters. The coefficient of friction for each parallel pipe equal to zero point zero zero five. If the total rate of flow in the main is 2 meter cube per second okay find the rate of flow each parallel pipe this is the problem okay first of all to read the problem after that to write the given data the length of the pipe 1 l1 equal to 1000 meters diameter of the pipe 1 d1 equal to 0.8 meters next to the length of the pipe 2 l2 equal to 1000 meters the diameter of the pipe 2 d2 equal to 0.6 meters next to coefficient of friction f1 equal to f2 equal to 0.005 okay f1 and f2 are same the coefficient of friction are pipe 1 and pipe 2 are same okay the rate of flow in each pipe the rate of flow in each pipe let q1 is the rate of flow in pipe 1 and q2 is the rate of flow in pipe 2 okay q is the total rate of flow in main main line pipe okay q is the main line pipe t is divided into two pipes q1 is the rate of flow in pipe 1 q2 is the rate of flow in pipe 2 then q equal to q1 plus q2 total discharge equal to uh, pipe 1 discharge plus pipe 2 discharge okay next the head loss due to the friction hf equal to 4 fl v square by 2gd this is the equation of head loss due to the friction or darcy wisbach equation in this problem two pipes are available first pipe 1 4 f1 l1 v1 square by d1 2g that equal to pipe 2 4 f2 l2 v2 square by d2 into 2g okay next f1 and f2 are equal that equal to 0.005 and l1 equal to l2 that equal to 1000 meters therefore the above equation is written as v1 square by d1 that equal to v2 square by d2 v1 square by d1 that equal to v2 square by d2 remaining terms are both are same um, because of the terms are cancelled okay remaining terms is v1 square by d1 that equal to v2 square by d2 or v1 square by d1 means 0.8 that equal to v2 square by d2 means 0.6 therefore v1 equal to root of 0.8 by 0.6 into v2 square that equal to 1.15 v2 next discharge q equal to av okay discharge q equal to av discharge formula is a into v a means area v means velocity a is the pi by 4 into d1 square that is the pipe 1 velocity means v1 pi by 4 into d1 square and v1 next pi by 4 into d1 means 0.8 square into velocity v1 means in terms of v2 1.15 v2 okay this is calculated value is 0.578 v2 next Discharge Q2 equal to pi by 4 into d2 square into v2. 
okay therefore pi by 4 into d2 means 0.6 square into v2 that equal to 0.283 v2 next these values are q1 and q2 substitute in equation 1 we get 2 equal to 0. 0.578 v2 plus 0. 0.283 v2 okay therefore v2 equal to 2 by 0. 0.578 plus 0. 0.283 that equal to 2.32 meter per second substituting the values of v2 in equation 2 we get v1 equal to 1.15 into 2.32 that equal to 2.67 meter per second this is the velocity of pipe pipe one next to therefore discharge discharge q1 equal to av a means pi by 4 into d1 square into velocity means 2.67 Therefore, the discharge Q1 equal to 1.342 meter cube per second. Next, to Q equal to Q1 plus Q2. In this equation, Q2 equal to Q minus Q1. Q means 2 minus Q1 means 1.342 already calculated value. Therefore, we can calculate the Q2 value is 0.658 meter cube per second this is the problem we can calculate the discharges in pipe one and pipe two next this is the another problem the pipes of diameter d and small d of equal length l are considered if the pipes are arranged in parallel the loss of head for either pipes for a flow of Q is H. If the pipes are arranged in series and the same quantity Q flows through them, the loss of head H. If D equal to 0 0.5 capital D, find the percentage of total flow through each pipe when placed in parallel and the ratio of h to h neglecting minor losses and assuming friction coefficient to be constant as shown in the figure the discharge of q is divided into two small pipes pipe 1 and pipe 2 q1 and q2 the l and d is the length of the pipe 1 and d is the length, uh, diameter of the pipe 1 Next, L2 and D2 is the length of the pipe 2 and D2, D is the diameter of the pipe 2. Next, two. diameter of the pipe 1 equal to D1 equal to D. Length of the pipe 1 equal to L1 equal to L. Next, two. diameter of the pipe 2 equal to D2 equal to small d. Length of the pipe 2 equal to L2 equal to L. Okay, total discharge Q. Head loss to when pipes are arranged in parallel, small h. Head loss when pipes are arranged in series, capital H. Okay, D is the small d equal to 0 0.5 capital D. And F is constant. Case one, pipes are connected in parallel. Pipes are connected in parallel. That equal to discharge Q equal to Q1 plus Q2. Loss of head in each pipe h equal to 4 f l v square by 2 g d. This is the pipe 1 equal to 4 f1 l1 v1 square by d1 2 g. In this equation v1 equal to sorry where v velocity equal to q by a that equal to q1 by a means pi by 4 into d square that equal to 4 q1 by pi d square v1 value is substituted in the head loss due to the friction equation 4fl into 4q1 by pi d square whole square by d into 2g that equal to 32fl q1 square by pi square d45 into 
G. In this equation, L1 equal to L is substituted. Therefore, H equal to 32 F L Q2 square by pi square d power 5 into G. This is the equation of head loss to the reflection in pipe 1 mm, connection of series. So, next, from equation 2 and 3, we have H equal to 32 F L Q1 square by pi square d power 5 into G that equal to 32 F L Q2 square by pi square d power 5 into G. In this equation, uh, written as Q1 square by d power 5 that equal to Q2 square by d power 5. Therefore, Q1 by Q2 whole square equal to capital D by small d whole to the power of 5. That equal to small d capital D by small d equal to 0 0.5 d already given in the problem and that value is substituted in the in this equation we can also find the q1 by q2 whole square equal to 32 therefore q1 by q2 equal to 5.567 therefore q1 equal to 5.567 q2 next substituting the value of q1 in equation we get to q equal to 5.567 q2 plus q2 that equal to 6.657 q2 Therefore, Q2 equal to Q by 6.657 that equal to 0.15 Q. Therefore, Q1 equal to Q minus 0.15 Q that equal to 0.85 Q. In this figure, pipes are connected in series connection. The pipe 1 length is L and diameter is D. The discharge of the pipe 1 equal to Q that equal to meter key per second, the velocity of V1 equal to meter square per second. Therefore, the pipe 2 is the length is L and diameter is small d and the velocity is V2. Okay, next two. The pipes are connected in series connection. In case of total loss equal to the sum of head losses in two pipes. Okay, pipe 1 is the 4f l v square by 2 g d next to pipe 2 is the 4f l v 2 square by 2 g d therefore v 1 equal to q by pi by 4 into d square that equal to 4 q by pi d square this is the v 1 value next to v 2 value is the 4 q by pi d square small d square okay therefore h equal to 4 f l into 4 q by pi d square whole square divided by d into 2g plus 4fl into 4q by pi small d square divided by d into 2g therefore h equal to 32 fl q square by pi square d power 5 into g plus 32 fl q square by pi square d power 5 into g from equation to 32 fl by pi square d power 5 into small g that equal to h by q1 square from equation 3 32 f l by pi square small d power 5 into g that equal to h by q2 square substituting these values are in equation 4 h equal to q square into h by q1 square plus q square into h by q2 square Therefore, h, h into q square by q1 square plus q square by q2 square. Therefore, capital H by small h equal to q square by q1 square plus q square by q2 square. From equations of 4 and 5, q1 equal to 0 0.85 q and q2 equal to 0 0.15 q. Therefore, capital H by small h equal to q square by 0 0.85 q whole square plus q square by 0 0.15 q whole square that equal to 45.828 this is the capital h by small h value next the flow through the nozzle at the end of the pipe the flow through the nozzle at the end of the pipe the nozzle is connected in the, the end of the pipe the pipe means diameter d and velocity v nozzle diameter small d and jet velocity small v okay pipe velocity capital v1 pipe yoka diameter capital d 
nozzleka diameter small d in the jet velocity is the small v in figure the nozzle is tapering mouthpiece which is fitted into the outlet end of a pipe the total energy at the end of the pipe consists of a pressure energy and kinetic energy by fitting of the nozzle the at the end of the pipe the total energy is converted into the kinetic energy the high velocity is required in the field of power development fire fighting mining etc in this diagram the nozzle is connected into the at the end of the pipe the nozzle purpose is the high pressure energy is converted into the velocity energy okay the jet is the leaving to the pipe high velocity next in this equation in this figure let capital d equal to diameter of the pipe capital l equal to the length of the pipe small d equal to diameter of the nozzle capital v equal to the velocity of flow in pipe small v equal to velocity of flow outlet of the nozzle f equal to coefficient of friction for the pipe capital h equal to height of water level in the reservoir above the central line of the nozzle okay next the head loss due to the friction in this equation is h of equal to 4 f l v square by 2 g d the head available in the base of the nozzle is h minus h of capital h minus h of okay the h small h of value is 4 f l v square by 2 g d the this value is substituted in this equation therefore the equation is capital h minus 4 f l v square by 2 g d assuming the minor losses and losses in the nozzle is to be neglected we have total head at the nozzle the outlet equal to v square by 2 g therefore h equal to h f plus v square by 2 g that equal to h f means 4 f l v square by 2 g d plus v square by 2 g v square by 2 g is the minor losses in the pipe from continuity equation we have av equal to av av is the continuity equation av equal to av capital a capital v this is the pipe next small a small v this is the nozzle okay where a and a are the areas of the pipe and areas of the nozzle at outlet respectively therefore capital v equal to small a small v by capital a substituting the value of v the equation number 1 we get to. the equation number 1 is h equal to hf plus v square by 2g okay that equal to 4f l v square by d into 2g plus v square by 2g okay in this equation the v value capital v value av by a is substituted we get h equal to 4f L a square v square by d into 2g into a square plus v square by 2g. The equation is written as v square by 2g into 1 plus 4f l a square by d into a square. Okay. Therefore, the equation is v equal to root of 2g h by 1 plus 4f l by d into a square by capital a square. the discharge to the nozzle equal to a into v small a into small e small v small v is the velocity of the outlet of the nozzle small a is the area of the outlet of the nozzle okay next power transmitted to the nozzle okay power transmitted to the nozzle the mass of liquid flowing per second the mass of liquid flowing per second at the outlet of the nozzle 
the mass of liquid flowing per second at the outlet of the nozzle m equal to rho a v m equal to rho a v rho is the density a is the area v is the velocity the mass of the liquid flowing per second the outlet of the nozzle equal to m equal to rho a v okay therefore the kinetic energy of the jet at outlet of the nozzle the kinetic energy of the jet at the outlet of the nozzle means 1 by 2 into m v square this is the kinetic energy equation 1 by 2 m v square is the kinetic energy equation in this equation 1 by 2 m v square in this equation m value is rho a v is substituted therefore the equation is 1 by 2 rho a v into v square that equal to 1 by 2 rho a v cube this is the power available at the outlet of the nozzle okay that equal to 1 by 2 rho a v cube watts watts is the power units okay next also power available at the inlet of the pipe that equal to w q h power available at the inlet of the pipe equal to w q h okay next power available at the end of the nozzle equal to rho a v cube 1 by 2 rho a v cube is the power available at the outlet of the nozzle next the efficiency of power transmitted through the nozzle is the efficiency of power transmitted through the nozzle is the efficiency equal to power available at the outlet of the nozzle divided by power available at the inlet of the pipe okay the efficiency equal to power available at the outlet of the nozzle divided by power available at the inlet of the pipe that equal to 1 by 2 rho a v cube divided by w q h where w equal to rho g the weight weight means rho g and q equal to a v w and q values are substituted in the efficiency equation efficiency equal to half rho a v cube divided by rho g into a v into capital h that equal to v square by 2g h that equal to 1 by 1 plus 4f l by d into a square by capital a square okay next therefore the equation is root of 2g h by 1 plus 4f l by d into small a square by capital a square okay this is the small derivation of the power transmitted to the nozzle okay in this video i can explain the the pipes are connected in parallel connections and the pipes are connected in series connections and power transmitted to the nozzle okay you can explain the small problems